Hello, my name is Tim Lemons with Lemons Engineering in Cabot, Arkansas. I'm Rissy Brook, and I graduated Cabot High School in 2008, and I recently graduated college at Park University. I'm Art Brook, I'm Mayor of City of Ward. As an engineer, we use trig on a daily basis, and uh, what we're going to demonstrate today is, as opposed to climbing on top of this water tank that's standing behind us, we're going to use trig to determine exactly how high the water tank is using a surveying instrument. As, previ as previously discussed, our goal here is to determine how high the water tank is. If we know the distance from this instrument to the base of the water tank, and we know the angle from here up to the top of the water tank, using trig we can determine the height of the water tank. We just, a few minutes ago, we measured this distance. It was 156 feet from where we are right now to the bottom we of the water tank. We will now run a level and we'll also measure the angle and from that we'll be able to compute the height of the tank. We just completed measuring the level distance from here to the bottom of the tank. The reason we do that is because as, um, as you can see the tank, is at a, the tank bottom is a much lower level than where our instrument is set up. So what we have to do is level our instrument to where it intersects with the tank and get that distance from there down to the bottom of the tank. We will add that to the calculated angle and distance here in, in, in a little bit and we'll have the total height of the tank. Now that we have performed everything but the angle, the angle is the next thing we must do. And at this point uh, we uh, sight the instrument on the top of the tank, this base level, and we measure the angle from, uh, from level up to the intersection with the top of the tank and our reading is 36 degrees. So knowing that we are 156 feet from the tank, that our measure down from level to the bottom of the tank is 11.4 feet, and knowing this angle of 36 degrees, we can now compute the height of the water tank from the bottom of the ground. Let's evaluate the information we've collected. The distance from the survey equipment to the water tower was 156 feet. That level line was 11.4 feet above the base of the tower. The line of sight to the top of the water tower was 36 degrees. Using opposite side and adjacent side, we can use the tangent trig function to calculate the full height of our water tower. Tangent of 36 is going to be equal to our opposite side x over our adjacent side 156. To solve this, we're going to multiply both sides by 156, which will tell us that x equals 5,616 feet. We need to take the 11.4 feet and add it to this measurement to get the full height of the tower, 5,630.4 feet. Now let's apply this information to a new problem. A survey crew wants to calculate the height of a local building. They set up their equipment 240 feet away from the building and they site it in at 6.3 feet above the base of the building. If the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 28 degrees, how tall is the building? 